What's up guys, Charles from 3 Tech Dev and gonna show you how to connect your Motorola Droid Razer HD uh, to your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or any Mac uh, laptops that you might have. Uh, besides, if let's say you are using, uh, for example, Air Droid, where you uh, use your Droid Razer to connect to your MacBook uh, wirelessly, that can be done as well. But if let's say you're transferring uh, heavy or big files is probably quite slow if you're going to use Wi-Fi. So if you're going to use your USB cable to actually connect to your uh, MacBook, um, you need to download some stuff first because it's different from using Windows where everything just basically automatically downloads the drivers and stuff and, you, and basically everything is seamless. So if you are like me, trans, uh, who actually just suddenly changed to using MacBook then I guess sorry then I guess this will be the video for you so firstly before you connect your uh, Droid Razer via the USB cable to your MacBook you need to go to um, www.android.com slash file transfer and then you need to download this application Okay, so you just read the instructions, click the download now. When the download completes, you just install and so on. So once it's there, you need to download your uh, Motorola Droid Razer or any Motorola phone uh, drivers for Mac. So you just need to go to uh, this URL, or if you want, you can just go to, to the uh, Google and then you just search for Motorola Droid Razer HD drivers and it's probably the first link where can I download the USB drivers for my device so it will be over here where you can just click download for Mac you need these two files firstly would be the drivers for your Motorola phone and the next one will be the Android file transfer in order for it to actually work on uh, connecting your Droid Razer HD to your MacBook Pro. So once you have both downloaded and installed into your computer, you can go ahead and connect your device. On the first time of launch, you need to actually uh, launch this. Subsequent times, it will auto uh, automatically open up. So before you click on Android file transfer, your phone needs to be unlocked. If let's say you have a uh, you know timeout and then your phone goes into lock, you need to unlock your phone. Make sure that your phone is unlocked before you click on Android file transfer. So once you click that, it will open up. So your phone needs to be unlocked. Uh, don't get, not. I'm not talking about having an unlocked bootloader totally different thing your phone basically you know you can key in your uh, password to get into your phone that that's the unlock your screen needs to be unlocked basically so you can actually access internal storage or your SD card and it's so much easier um, I mean so much faster if you are using AirDroid or some other uh, application where you can just wirelessly transfer files it's fine as well but um, nor nor normally I get a lot of videos on my phone so I need cable which is probably faster so I do have the ability for both wired and wireless so hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching